Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through SAM Project 1A, Excel Module 6, Creating, Sorting, and Querying. Right, so first you're going to download the file and then open the file. You're going to click Enable Editing, go back to Cengage, copy the expected file name, everything before the dot, and then go to your file, go to Save As, you're going to paste this, click Save. Okay, first you're going to go to Completed Projects and we're going to make a table. So select A1, drag it down to F12, and then you're going to go to Insert, click Table, and then click OK. Next, we're going to format the table. So in Table Design, you're going to select Table Styles, and then we're picking Brown Table Style Medium 7. Now with the table still selected, go back to Table Design up at the top where it says Table Name, you're going to rename it Completed Projects, then press Enter. I'm going to filter the table, so in the Funding column, click the arrow. You're going to click on Number Filters. You're going to click on Greater Than, and then you're going to type in 10,000, and then press OK. Okay, in the current project sheet, we're going to add a row after row 5. So click on row 6, right click, click on insert, and then this one is called Orchid Drive Zoning. The date is 11-20-2024. Tab 30 days. Tab public, tab alone, tab 2000, tab no, tab no. Now we're going to sort the funding column, so click on the filter, and then it should be the first one smallest to largest. Next in H11, type in yes under in development. You're going to click on data. Click on Advanced. For list range, select A1 to H12. For criteria range, you're going to select A16 down to H17. And then you're going to select Copy to another location. Select that. And you're going to choose from A19 to H19. It's already selected for me. Click OK. And then it should copy the formula down. Next, we're going to edit the in development column. So go to data, filter, and then in H1, you're going to click the arrow. And then you're going to, you're going to uncheck yes. And then you're going to click OK. And these are all the ones not in development. Next, go to the proposed projects sheet. And then we're going to clear the filter. So A1 is already selected. Just click on the filter button. And then you're going to select A2 all the way down to A14, go to Home, click Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, you're going to then select Duplicate Values, and then click OK. And then we have two Sunset High Zoning, so delete the last one. You're going to click Row 14, right click, click Delete. In G1, you're going to type in Fast Track, and then click on Tab, so I can format. Now in G2, we're going to enter a formula. So go to formulas, go under logical, click and. Now for logical one, we're going to select project type. So just click D2 and then you're going to do equal quote mixed use end quote. Click logic two, click the first one in funding type and then type equal, quote, loan, end quote, and then click OK. And now you should have all false except for two trues. Now you're going to click table design, and then up here where it says table style options, click the total row option, and it should show 12. Then in F14, we're going to click the arrow, we're going to click the filter, and then we're going to click sum. Next, select C2 down to C13, go, and go to Home, Conditional Formatting. You're going to press on New Rule, and then where it says Format Style on the bottom, 
you're going to collect icon sets you're going to click on three signs then click reverse order for type click number for both first value is 120 second value is 60 and then click OK similar for funding so you're going to click F2 down to F13 conditional formatting new rule you're going to click on data bar for the fill click gradient fill for color you're going to pick orange and then click OK next in J1 you're going to wrap text so select J1 go to home and then in alignment click on wrap text so in J2 click equal sign and then you can use the function tab type in count if click the first one click OK the range is project type so you're going to select from D2 down to D13 for criteria you're going to press on I2 and then press OK and then use the fill handle from J2 down to J5. For K2, I'm going to go to formulas, I'm going to type in sum if, enter, sum if selected, click OK. For range, select project type from D2 to D13. For criteria, select I2. For sum range, you're going to select the funding, so F3 down to F13 and click OK and then use the fill handle down to K5. And repeat this one more time for L2. So click on L2, click on insert function, look for average if, select average if, and then for range, project type, for criteria, I2, for average range, select the funding column, click OK, and then use the fill handle to fill it down. To fill in some information for the 2021 summary so in i8 type in project type tab started tab completed tab funding and then i9 type commercial tab Five, tab 3, tab 45,500. Click enter, mixed use, tab 4, tab 2, tab 57,800. Enter, then you're going to type public tab 4, tab 3, tab 33,750, enter, residential, tab 3, tab 3, tab 41,325, click enter. Also, you're going to click on I8 to L. 12 click format as table and then you're going to press the same one that the rest of them are formatted in so brown table style medium 7 click on it and then make sure my table has headers is checked click ok you're going to go to the funding totals worksheet select the entire table from a1 to h23 go to data you're going to click sort sort by funding type Add level, start date, keep the default, and then press OK. Next, go to A1, right click, and then it says table. You're going to click convert to range, and then you're going to click yes. Then go to data, go to outline, click on subtotal. Make sure at the first one is funding type. Use function should be sum, and then for add subtotal to, 
only check funding. Decheck deselect in, in development. Check summary below data, deselect replace current subtotals, then click OK. Next, select the whole data. From A1 to H27, go to hide detail in outline. Now in the lookup sheet, we're going to enter formula in H3. So click on H3, click on insert a function, type in X lookup, and then you're going to click OK. Lookup value should be H2. Press on H2 for lookup array. It's A2 to A23. For return array, it's B2 colon B23. Then click OK. So in H4, we're going to enter a formula. So it's equal index, hit tab and then type in A2 colon E23 comma match click tab then you're going to type H2 comma A2 and then colon A23 comma 0 close parentheses comma 4 close parentheses, and then click enter. There you go. Now we're going to enter a formula in H8. So go to H8, insert formula, type in D count, then click OK. Database is A1 to E23. For field type, quote, funding, end quote. Criteria is G11 colon G12. I actually made a mistake here. The criteria is supposed to be G6 to G7, and I fixed it on the next part. For the range, it's G6 to G, G6 to G7. Click enter. There you go. In H13, you're going to enter, go to insert function. And you're going to type the average, click OK. Database is A1 to E23. Field is the same, quote, funding, end quote. Criteria is also the same, G11 colon G12. Press OK. It should come up. Go back to the proposed project sheet and select B1. And then for start date, go to data, go to filter, click the arrow. For start date, you want to press oldest to newest. There you go. Now let's turn it in. And you should get 100. Let me see what I have. Orange gradient color. Mm. <coughs> Anyway, I hope this video helped and that it was easy to follow along and thank you for watching.